take a look at customary unit conversions involving fractions and mixed numbers. One foot is equal to blank yards. Okay, well we need to know how many feet are in a yard. So it's helpful for us to know that there are three feet in every one yard. That is our conversion. So if I want to go from the number of feet to the number of yards, well, to, I would need to divide by three. So the number of feet divided by three or over three is going to equal the number of yards. So in this case, if I have one foot, my one foot divided or over three would give me the number of yards. So it's one third of a yard. Okay, same thing again. We just said one foot is one third of a yard. Okay, we have 880 yards and we wanna know how many miles is that? So we need to know the conversion that there are 1,760 yards in one mile. So that means if I know my number of yards, my number of yards divided by 1,760 should give me my answers in miles. Okay, well in this case, I have 880 yards and I'm gonna have to divide that by 1,760. Now, if you look at these two numbers, you might notice that 880 is exactly half of 1760. So that means 880 goes into 880 once and 880 goes into 1760 two times. You also could take your calculator and divide it and that would give you the decimal version. But either way, you're gonna get one half or 0.5, which is another way to write one half. Okay, this time we have two teaspoons and we wanna know how many fluid ounces is that? So we need to start, we need to know our conversion. So six teaspoons are equal to one fluid ounce. I'm gonna abbreviate fluid ounce. Okay, so that means if we know how many teaspoons we have, we have to take the number of teaspoons and divide it by six or put it over six to figure out how many fluid ounces we have. So if we have two teaspoons, two teaspoons divided by six would give us our answer in fluid ounces. Now I can reduce this fraction because two goes into both two and six, right? Two goes into two one time and two goes into six three times. So that means that two teaspoons is equal to two six or one third of a fluid ounce. Okay, they told us that four pints is equal to blank gallons. Okay, so we need to know that there are eight pints in one gallon. Okay, that is our conversion factor. Eight pints is equal to one gallon. So that means if I know my number of pints, I have to take however many pints I have and divide it by eight to get to my number of gallons. Okay, so if I have four pints, four divided by eight or four over eight should tell me the number of gallons. And I can reduce this fraction because four goes into four and eight. Four goes into four 
one time, and four goes into eight two times. So four pints is half of a gallon. Okay, so this time they told us three quarts is equal to blank gallons. So I want to know how many quarts are in a gallon. Okay, well there's four quarts in one gallon, or we can say four quarts are equal to one gallon. Okay, so that means if I want to go from quarts to gallons, I need to divide by four or multiply by one fourth. Okay, so I had three quarts. I'm going to take my three and divide it by four or put it over four. So there's three fourths of a gallon in three quarts.